Welcome back to the Artie Lang Show. Talking with Mark Norman. Real successful young comics. to be at the Funny Farm in Youngstown, Ohio, this upcoming Friday and Saturday. Check him out. He won't be doing any Italian material, I promise. Uh, but any other race you could goof on there. Yeah, matter yeah. matter of fact, you might have to to get all stayed safe. Oh, yeah. I got a whole Samoan chunk. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, to. it takes a long time to get that chunk. Yeah. Hey, uh, now, you uh, you say you open up for Amy Schumer. Very funny. Very uh, funny. She's become a friend of mine. Are you are you a little bitter that you have to open up for a woman? Are you, there's a, no. In the I old mean, days of Sinatra, Joy Bishop, that wouldn't happen. I mean, I, I would prefer to open for Wendy Liebman because I heard she sleeps with her features. Did you hear <laughs> nope. that? Get out of here. Oh, that's a big thing. Her her Her, her features, like her chin... <laughs> well, no, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Wow. All the all the uh, younger guys banged her. No, I, I. Wow. Did you ever open for her? Uh, yeah. Ah, oh, jeez. Sorry. I never ba- <laughs> no, I never opened for her. Oh. I never even met Wendy Liebman. Oh yeah. I Who's think- banged her? Oh, jeez, you name it. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, no. You know, no. fuck like Alan King. Uh, no. <laughs> How great would that be if Alan King banged her? I would, I would be surprised. Love, I, that that could have happened. Alan King's, you know, he was like the Sinatra of stand-up. Speaking of f- f- comics and movies, he was in a he was in Goodfellas. He was. And Rickles was in Casino. No, no, wait, no, no. Uh, Alan King and Rickles are both in Casino. I don't think either one's in Goodfellas. Really? Alan King not in Goodfellas. Mm. Call in if you know. Alan King is uh, definitely in uh, in Casino. Yeah, yeah, as is you're right. And he gets killed uh, in a Vegas parking lot by a couple of Chicago guys. Hey, Jagov. Right, that's right. <laughs> and the guy in Costa Rica gets a bit too. Will you go in Jagov? <laughs> <laughs> this guy's gonna go to go to Kansas and make a beef with this freaking guy. This guy is. Uh, uh, yeah, no, I uh, I I know both movies. Is, wait, now you got me. Is Alan King Danny? In I Goodfellas? thought he was in Goodfellas. He's in Goodfellas. Alan King? No. Definitely Damn. Casino. No, definitely Casino. Is there a, a, an older? There's like a Catskills guy in, in Goodfellas, maybe. Uh, uh, yeah, no, he's, uh, he, Henny Youngman's in it, isn't he? That's for sure. Henny there it is. In it because there they go, it is. That's for sure. Right. They go into the... I love this crowd. Yeah, yeah, that's it. And then Belzer, I think, is in Scarface. Belzer's in Scarface. Oh, no, so. no, no. You're thinking of the other guy with acne, F. Murray Abraham. <laughs> wait You're a minute. You're thinking of a different acne guy. Oh, wait, no, <laughs> Belzer's a comic in yes, Scarface. Like yes, he is. Two seconds. Belzer's a comic in Scarface. Here we go. Here's Goodfellas trivia, Danny. Ready? I don't know if anybody... Maybe Mikey could get this. What? Give me the jokes Henny Youngman tells. He tells three jokes. I think he tells two or three jokes at the Copa. Uh, let me think. I think I have them. I know them. I don't remember. Can you remember even one of them? No. Okay. Is one was one, about one, the wife. One is about the wife. He says to the wife, uh, it says, take me someplace I've never been before for vacation. I said, try the kitchen. And the other one is, uh, you know, the doctor, uh, Dr. Maxwell's here. Dr. Maxwell, great doctor. A guy couldn't pay, guy, you know, gave a guy six months to live, couldn't pay his bill, gave him another six months. <laughs> I love that. Those are the two jokes. I'm saying those are the that's two great. jokes. That's great. Then he goes, I love this crowd. <laughs> and I think that's it. <laughs> trivia. It's good fellas trivia. So now, uh, what about you with L.A. stuff? You think you're going to go out to L.A.? Or- <sighs> I just did, a, just did a run, and I don't know, it's not for me. How long? I did, I did about a week and a half. Yeah. And it was... <laughs> you couldn't get through that. No, oh the, the days are so long. It's not, I feel like there's nothing to do. You know what it is? It's hard to mark stuff out there. Because people say, remember two weeks ago? And you're like, oh, you mean that sunny day where it got kind of chilly? Uh, right, right, right. It's hard. It is. It's they very, blend. It does blend. Yeah. But, I mean, that's where show business ultimately is. I know. But I feel like you can... I'm doing pretty well out here. I like it. I'm jumping around spot to spot. Then right. you go on the road at, No, I know. On, well, the, on that sense, sure. Yeah. And I love hearing that. You're a pure stand-up. That's great. But... Do you have goals besides stand up? I mean, I'd want to. I mean, I'm the worst actor on the planet, but I guess. Is Seinfeld, that for sure? I'm terrible. A lot I'm, of people I say that. I know that. I can just tell I'm at auditions and they're just like, really? You know what? Like, uh, like Norm MacDonald used to say that to me all the time when we, when we worked together, and he was good. Like, like I think if, you, if you're a good comic, there's something you could uh, dig deep down and figure it out. Yeah, I mean, I Seinfeld could, in the beginning was awful, but he got, he got better. He got though. better, yeah. But Norm, Norm turned out to be a really good actor and stuff. Yeah, he was great on his own member show. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But I guess he was doing him. Well, that's hard to do, too, though. It's not easy right. to do, but uh, he, did it, he did it well. Yeah, I know. I mean, I know L.A. is uh, inevitable, but uh, I'm just trying to, I'm pushing back a well, lot. I respect that. I respect that. That's good. I mean, you know, but at some point you might want health insurance. 
Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, <laughs> my pockets are lined with your snacks from the it's, green room. Oh, take, take whatever you want. I haven't eaten in days. I have a soft spot for comics. Take whatever you want. Oh, thanks. Uh, you, uh, I mean, honestly, you know, the whole thing about uh, you know uh, comics and health insurance. We should have a union. I think yeah, we, we don't have a good enough union. Don't somebody, you think? somebody call Ted Alexandro. <laughs> Get him on that. I'm going Damn too it. inside. Sorry. Yeah, that's <laughs> all right. If you knew Ted, you'd, that would be laughing at that. I can imagine. Do you do any? Uh, can you do any references to the uh, to the 2002 Raiders? He'd laugh at that. Yeah, <laughs> he was on them. Are you yeah. a sports guy? I mean, I'm, I'm a huge Saints fan. Uh, what obviously. happened, man? I know the streak is over. The Pats. They real. I mean, uh, everyone's just patched on Pats. I'm five and one again, man. Yeah, it's ridiculous. That one hurt. I mean, so you're hardcore? Well, you got this bowl a couple years ago. Yeah, we got the bowl a couple years ago, and I mean, I've been to a couple of games, and I'm, you know. Rooting for it, big underdog team. Uh, you were born in born and raised Louisiana. New Orleans. Did yeah. Katrina affect your family? Uh, not too much. We we lived in the quarter, so that part kind of stayed right. safe. It's so old that it's just built strong. It is old, man. Oh yeah. But 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 they did. That's the thing. They did build stuff good back then. Oh yeah. I mean, stuff was just. They didn't like scamper on the concrete. Right. You know, yes. It's engineered. all stone. It's like all yeah. stone. Yeah, the water came in and out, and that was it. But the, other, the wooden houses are just gone. I know, know that. They floated away. Yeah. That was terrible. Oh, yeah. Good uh, times. <laughs> what, happened, uh, what happened to Rob Ryan's defense being outstanding? Everyone was. He was so upset. Yeah. Oh, it, Poor little Robbie. Should be. I, but that's the thing. They look great. Start of the season, I know. and then all of a sudden, last couple games, they've given up some serious uh, yardage. It's, it's like that friend who's doing great on, you know, like he's sober for a while, then he just can't do it. That's me. Yeah, that's what I was hinting uh, at. Uh, it was I, a mirage. I, right. Yeah. But, uh, Norman's, my, Norman's coming in here right for the sweater, right for the sobriety. Ah, jeez. I respect it. I respect it. I like all the people who's gone Carson right for the ex-wives. <laughs> Back with more Mark Norman. <laughs> Funny Farm. In Youngstown, Ohio, this Friday and Saturday, check his ass out. The Artie Lang Show, more with Mark. After these words. Welcome back to the Artie Lang Show. Mark Norman here, very funny guy. This Friday and Saturday, the funny farm in Youngstown, Ohio. What are you off to after that? You got the whole thing planned out? Yeah, then I'm, I'm back here on Sunday, and then uh, next Friday, Zanies. Okay. Chicago. That's good. You know, I don't know if Norm still tours. You'd be a good uh, compliment for Norm, man. You don't think I'm too much, too similar? I don't know. I think it'd be funny. Jeez, he's my he's my hero. I think I'd it'd be, be work. Yeah. I'd be blown away. Yeah, the guy's amazing. Never met him. Very funny. Uh, dude, uh, well, you know, just uh, it's such an impressive stand-up to see to see live. You know? Yeah, yeah. Because you think uh, right before he goes on, I opened up for him for about a year, and uh, after we did Dirty Work, and then. Uh, he he, he always think like no matter where you are, you think like he's not gonna make it. Like he goes, yeah, he's holding his stomach. He goes, I can't do this, man. Goes, I'm not gonna make it here. I don't want to go on. I don't want to go on. I want to quit. I want to quit. Like, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. And you gotta push him in front of the microphone, and then he does an hour and forty five, and like destroys. Doesn't take the mic on like this. Like ah, no, I don't know. <laughs> and then he just leaves. And he, yeah, you know. I saw him at Caroline's when I was broke. I was poor. I, I didn't even wasn't even in the club, so I had to pay the real fee. You know, right, I, I couldn't right. be like I'm a comic. They didn't know me. I know. And I, you mean the fair prices over there? Too, yeah, right? yeah, right. I, I spent like seventy bucks. <laughs> it's great when you're broke. <laughs> yeah, and I went and saw him, and uh, he was killing, and he got heckled in the middle of his in the show, and uh, he's drinking a Coca Cola, and he just goes, "It's dead silent. This tension, like, what are they? What's he gonna say?" And he yeah. just goes. I don't know what to do about that, you know. And then he goes back to the act. <laughs> I've never seen anyone handle a heckle like that. I don't know what to do about that. Yeah. Uh, uh, now, sometimes I just go, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Funniest guy on the planet. No, he really is. He's up there. He's up there. He's a very, very funny. He's a fun guy to talk. See, the, uh, doing the road with a guy like that is fun uh, for the late night conversations that last till six in the morning right. about show business, mm -hmm. about who he hates. Yeah. Like you, start, like, you start talking about who you hate. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's fantastic. That's oh. the funnest stuff. Oh, and who sucks and who you hate and, and this and that and the other thing. And then, of course, you pass out. Mm -hmm. That's what I would partake. Ah, you know, life used to be fun. Oh, yeah. Eventually, it goes downhill. You're young, though. You're 30. You'll be all right. You got a girlfriend? Yeah, yeah. How's that going? Ah, it's, it's getting dicey. It is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you mean like she's talking like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, well, you know, we live in a shoebox. I'm on the road all the time. It's hard, man. Getting do you weird. Feel, do you feel she's cheating? No, no. She's worried you about feel me. she's cheating with Artie Fuqua? <laughs> well, he did get a picture. <laughs> um, but, uh, 
Yeah, she's you know seen some weird emails, you know, tweets. <laughs> oh. Tweets. So, so she she's accusing you of being unfaithful. And you yeah. probably are. That's creating some tension. You're probably in the getting laid on the road, right? No, come on. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm impotent. I mean, you look like Fred Savage. <laughs> Try the uh, booth, please. Uh, all right. Hey, that guy was banging Megan Fox, right? Was he? I don't know. Yeah, she's right. Married. From, uh, she's married to that guy from 902. This is when they did the Transformers. I think she, she's been married. She really since married she was like that Brian Austin Green? Yeah. <laughs> God, that makes me feel like that's a guy you feel like you want to make fun of. You can't make They've fun of him. They've been together since she was. How did you make fun of that guy? Twelve. Or, well, you know, before she was what in kind movies of a crew and stuff. Are easy Sandusky, Jesus. Yeah. What kind of a creep are you? Go way back. Uh, well, uh, listen, dude. Uh, you, you come back anytime. I love it. Love it here. You Thanks. have an open invite. I appreciate it. And, uh, you know, can bring Keith over, too. And oh, Jesus. I want to sit him right here. We'll get him a whiskey sour. <laughs> <laughs> you can sit right there, and he'll just say, <laughs> Look like it. <laughs> look like Shalabu. <laughs> <laughs> look at this guy. Look like a. Ah, what do you look like? Ah. Hey, Ben Vereen all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he looks like Ben Vereen. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, remember, Funny Farm. This Thursday and Friday, Youngstown, Ohio. You want to see a better young comic on the planet? Please, Mark, I need you. I'm Mark not a draw. Norman. Thank you. The Artie Lang Show, weeknights on Audience, only on DirecTV.